What is this nutritious uploaded within a week's time span? <laughs> Jokes aside, guys, hopefully you like this new podcast. We, it was uh, it was pretty goofy and we went off topic a lot, but I guarantee it's pretty entertaining. Make sure to check out my Steam group. I will post all my updates there to videos and whatever I'm doing. Link to the Steam group will be in the description below. Besides that, enjoy. Hello, hello. My name is Nutritious Bag Circles and welcome to episode two of Bag Circles Central. I guess we're going to keep doing this podcast thing because a lot of people liked it. And I am here with President Moose and with two special guest speakers. First of all, say hi, Moose. Hi. It's President Moose. All right, then. Now, we have two very special guests on this podcast. I happen to know these two chaps for quite a while. These two people in this podcast is uh, Zane Burns and Smash Cooper. That's me. Say hello, guys. Hey, everyone. It's, it's, it's your favorite pals, Smash Cooper and Zane, the dynamic duo. Is that the real Smash Cooper? So, for now. Is that the real one? <laughs> for now, President uh, Moose, for now. <laughs> so, in today's podcast, we're going to try something a little bit more organized. I mean, I'm, I already know what I'm going to talk about, unlike Moose, who said he was going to write things down on a piece of paper, but he forgot because he's been busy goofing around and playing League. Okay, listen, listen, you invite me to do, like, things for your videos for, like, five weeks, and then, like, you don't know what, like, you, you can't even, like, start up your mic correctly sometimes. I, I, I'm not the only one who's not prepared sometimes, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Any- it's because I'm black. I'm sorry, I mean, I did say that. <laughs> Anywho, so, first, how this is going to work is we're going to talk about, I'm going to uh, talk about some things with the channel, and then I'm going to talk about uh, Zane and Smash over here, and the significance of them with me. And then we're going to talk about other fun stuff, specifically E3, which is uh, coming up in around a few days, and hopefully we get to see some brand new cool games. So, uh, Smash, Zane, um, would you like to explain who you guys are and what exactly I did with you guys? Um, Zane, do you want to go or do you want me to go? Zane, come tell, on. Tell, tell him the deets. Okay, I want to tell you guys the deets. You know, me and Zane... We started a, a little studio called Toehead Studios. And Elise is a our, our main mapper guy. He can make so he can make all those environments and like plan them out and stuff, which I can never do, because yeah. God forbid I can never make anything in a three D space. You know what? <laughs> Even a two D space, I couldn't be able to make a platforming level. I just have like flat ground and say, "Why are there floating platforms and platformers? It doesn't make any sense." <laughs> He's like creative about all that. He he can imagine stuff floating. I can't. Yeah. But uh, well. but uh, uh, me, I'm I'm uh, let's see let's see. I, I'm uh, you're an artist. I'm an artist. You know, people that are very poor. You know that sort of subcategory of jobs. A starving artist. <laughs> starving artist. And uh, I also do occasional writing, and I also do occasional organizing with my homie Zane Burns here, who's a. Uh, lead organizer while I'm co-organizer so if I don't know what's going on I can just redirect people to him and then he has to take full responsibility okay so and, and what do you do come on give us the deeds <laughs> yeah anybody seen the show Scooby Doo Moose stop they're I'm talking sorry. now <laughs> well, he <won't- laughs> I can't hear Zane so I was I, like, I, I, was, I was texting sorry uh, I, um, what was the question what, who are you and what do you do? Or something like that. Who am I? Yeah, and what do you I have am, to do with Toilet Head Studios? I'm Zane Burns. I am a, the co-founder of Toilet Head Studios. Um, so I've been here since the beginning. And I am I usually do a few things, I guess, wherever I can help out in a project. But I kind of like am in charge, basically, of the, the entirety of um, projects at points. Yeah. So, if you guys, uh, if any of you remembered from the last podcast, I mentioned that my big sort of career dream goal thingy was to be a video game developer. <clears throat> cool dream, by yeah. the way. So, I guess I guess we're gonna talk about Toilethead now and then the announcements with the with the channel. Also, a quick question, Zane. Who would be considered the founder of Toilet Head Studios if you're the co-founder? 
Wait, I thought I was a co-founder. Yeah, because he said he was the co-founder, and then you said you were the co-founder. So who's the founder? I, I guess we, like I thought we both it, shared. I yeah, it was like a both team. Shared. Yeah, it was like a, it's like it's like yo, we should make a studio, and then we were just like. But like, I I guess I was the one who originally came up. Yeah. Like, then he would be. I, the I came up. I came up with the name. All right. <laughs> but but, no. I, but we're we're co-founders. It's, we're just, both. it's just a title. It's not like. Like you both do equal amount of work, I guess. Just no, but it's not. It's not that. It's just the fact that um, Smash and I both founded it together. Yeah, but if there's two co-founders, then there's got to be a founder. I mean, I don't know. It's just we're, we're both the founders. All, All right, it right, works. That 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 works. Anywho, I guess. Um, I guess. Um, I guess we're gonna be talking about Toilet Head like right now, and I guess we're gonna do the channel announcement thingy um so to further explain the importance of these guys um so i already explained like i said i have a tendency to repeat myself that i want to be a video game developer so i'm going to explain my side of the story with these guys and how these guys played a big role in my life these past couple of years so um back in 2014 was it like when? When did I meet you? When you guys? When did I meet you? Smash saying twenty um, fourteen ish. I want to say twenty fourteen. All right. Yeah, around then. So around the same time that I was doing the whole uh, early sort of YouTube thing, these silly little videos with Moose, I happened to stumble across uh, these guys when I was looking through ModDB. This was around the same time when I was really into wanting to make a Half-Life 2 mod. This was around the time when I really was like, okay, I really need to get on my shoes and on my feet, or however the saying goes, and make something if I wanted to become a video game developer because, you know, it's competitive and there's a lot of things out there, and so I just wanted to start now so I can get the ball rolling. So now that that's that's one, one of the things that I wanted to be a game developer for, but I was literally mo like scrolling through moddb.com and I was just looking through any new mods that were being developed for Half-Life 2 and I happened to stumble across this one very unique mod and this mod what what really caught my attention was a little character on the front page of the mod it was a little adorable looking cat drawing ooh, ooh, what mod what mod that mod was called A Game Where You Shoot Stuff as Cats. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> so when I saw this mod, I was like, I think I'm going to probably help these guys. I don't know, because I have never really, like, just, you know, go on a mod page and just be like, oh, I'm going to help these guys. Because to honestly tell the truth, I'm not that good of a source mapper. Like, I can't even make anything decently good. You know, Smash over here likes to, like, you know, splurge and say all these nice things about me and whatnot. And gush. <laughs> I'm always gushing. <laughs> so, so yeah, when I, when I first met these guys, I was literally, like, do you remember when I first, like, met you guys? I was, I was, like, so serious as if I was, like, trying to, like, get a job or something. Yeah. You remember, you remember that? Like when I when I first saw these guys, I saw your website and I was like, "Oh snap, these guys must be very like serious and professional and stuff." So I acted all like very sort of like professional and making sure I don't yeah. screw this up. The thing about that is I usually deal with stuff like that, like making the mod DB page and writing things up and putting out requests to uh, get developers on board. And so I try to be really professional. And everything. I mean, that's and what you do. I You're think, the CEO. I think Smash has really, like... Like, I, I, I would still do that, of course. But I think Smash has, like, brought me down to appear more casual in the way that I write out things for us. Not to say that I didn't do that with other things, but specifically with Toyland Studios. So I think Smash kind of is probably the one who... Um, I guess eased you up a bit and made you feel feel like it's a a less it's a more free environment. Yeah, it's casual. I mean, you guys are rather like goofy people, and you're around my age, so it's like Smash. It's you relatable. you are Smash. You are a goofy person. Let's be let's be frank. Well, we're both. Who told you that? Tricks <laughs> goofy, dude. There's no such thing as goofy. <laughs> like goofy from that from like Disney, dude. Yeah. The dog. <laughs> I I kind of remember the time where I tried telling you a joke. 
about <laughs> why, why why is it called the Dark Ages? Oh, then and, and then and then I went AFK. You gave me like a paragraph answer. Oh my! God. Talking about the medieval ages. <laughs> yeah, once I made. The once I said to uh, Lisa, I was like, Half-Life 3 confirmed! Like, I made the stupid Half-Life 3 confirmed joke, and he went on for about 40 minutes talking about why Half-Life 3 is going to come out and why it's actually confirmed in all the conspiracies. 45 minutes, I think, is the word it was. Like, how do you do it, Lucas? Uh, Please refer to me as Telvi or Nutritious. Okay, Nutritious. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just covered up in editing so yes um oh this is this is really like i should really like explain um more about like toilet head and what we're doing so um goodness me so oh, how are we gonna explain this so zane smash would you like to explain exactly what we do and what we're doing right now Oh, uh, okay, okay, Zan, do you want to go about it, or should I? Um, so, so what we're working on right now? Yeah, like, kind of the history of Toilhead Studios, what have we... Oh, you, we... Want, you want the history? Yeah, like, the history, just, I mean, I want this, I want this, right. I, I want, like, right now, just to talk about, like, yeah, sure. Toilet Head in general, and, like, about me, and about you guys, and, because, you know, with this podcast, uh, it's not, it's like, I'm trying to use this podcast as a means to, like, sort of build a relationship with my community, you know, kind of, like, let them know more about who I am and why I do this and stuff like that, and the other things that I do besides the YouTube thing, because, you know, like I said, YouTube is fun, and it's, you know, it's something that I really want something to be special, but I also want to do this other thing that's, like, the main thing, and so it's really nice to explain about who you exactly is Toilet, who exactly are you guys, and what have we been doing these past two years? Sure, you man. Know, it's about the um, so, I'll d delve into this later, but right now, we're working on a completely new website and on the website we're gonna have like a timeline of our history so yeah. I'll read I actually have like some blurbs from it so Twilight Studios was founded in 2012 um, and me and Smash began to work on Rapture Inc which was a Half-Life 2 mod um, we spent I think we spent like completely a year on um, it. I want to say five months. In two thousand, because then the next year in two thousand thirteen in December, we canceled it and we released all the assets onto ModDB. Now I actually am really interested in Rapture Incorporated because actually I recently Smash, I was talking with you and how like you know one of the game one of the kinds of games that we want to make are narrative driven fps games you know we're big fans of half-life too you know and you know Sm like like uh moose over here may think i'm like the only half-life 2 fanboy but i know I never you said that <laughs> you have a tendency to i mean because i'm like your only friend who likes to gush about half-life well it's not like like i have plenty of friends who like half-life you're i think you have a small obsession with half-life i mean i have a small obsession with narrative driven fps games and half-life is just one of them is, would Undertale be considered a not not FPS? A, you said, a narrative driven said, FPS. Game. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't think that through. I didn't think the statement through before I said it. Uh, smash Smash, you're you're an Undertale guru. Is Undertale a first person no, shooter? No, it, um, it, it it depends on your interpretation of what's going on. I think anything could be a first person shooter, if you really think about it hard enough. Like, you know, there's bullets being thrown. And maybe yeah, the camera is the person you're yeah, playing as, because yeah. you know there's a whole theory of Kara being the one you know in control yeah. there. So yeah. maybe you're, maybe it's a perspective of Kara who sees first from a third person, which makes us the first person camera. And, yes. and obviously Toby likes to put us a lot of commentary in his game. That's exactly what I said, Nutritious. That's exact. Like yeah, first person shooter, Planet Side Two. That's it. Okay, anyways, I think we went a little off topic and I kind of lost track. So, um, what I was saying about Rapture Inc. Smash, I really want, um, I kind of asked you or Zane about if I can see, like, the script to Rapture Inc. or whatever. And um, also, did, did someone's mic went off or something like that? I kind of heard, like, the, the fan kind of go down. Is everyone here? Yeah, I'm here. 
Yeah. Okay. It was, just, it was Zane's mouth. All right. <laughs> so. My bad. My, st- mic, my mic is actually broken. So I'm using a webcam. Okay. It's, like, it's pretty awful, but it's broken, so I have to order a new one. All right. So, you Smash, like, you guys still have the assets to Rapture Incorporated, because I still want to look at that. Um, there's not much, to be honest. We did, uh, it was back when we were really disorganized, so, like, if well, there was ever we, a script, we, we, it, we, there was at least only, like, seven mm-hmm. lines, if I remember. No, we, we've had it, we had a bit of a script, for sure. Um, actually written, I think, mostly by, um, a gentleman named Will Sparks, who was on our team. Yeah, I, I know Will. He he wrote um, a lot of it. He was probably the lead writer for it. Um, so we do have a bit of a script. I can try to send you it later. I mean, it's in the our Dropbox, so I'll get it to you later. Yeah, that, I'd I'd much appreciate that. Now, because, oh, go. You want you want to go? Actually, you go, and then I'll I'll say what I was gonna say. Um. So yeah, the year we canceled Rapture and. <laughs> In 2013, there were like probably two attempts by kind of like people we were uh, that we just kind of knew. They wanted to revive it, but both times they just ended up dropping it completely. And then the same year in 2013 is when we started our current game, a game where we shoot stuff as cats. Yeah. Now, how exactly did, like, what, what was it that you and, and Smash were just like, I'm going to go together with you and we're going to make a game. I'm, we're going to start a little indie dev team. How did, right. that, how did that start? I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's not written down. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you going to tell them the whole, like, uh, fuck, what was it called? Nova Process? Yes. That's how <laughs> it's, not, it's not really funny, but his, his laugh may, probably made it sound funny. Okay. Um, Smash has a really contagious so- laugh. Yeah, way back. Always gives me a boner. I when I first found out about using hammer, um, I came up with a, a a pretty big idea for making a mod on it. And then as I kind of uh, learned further into hammer, I just kind of like kept working with thinking about the mod and stuff like that. So it's called Nova Prospect. Um, it was based off of the Half-Life 2 level Nova Prospect. Um, but it was going to be like a, f- a full game, not just like that section, of course. But it would be take place in Nova Prospect before, half, uh, before Gordon Freeman uh, kind of like freed everyone in it or whatever. Like, I don't know. Um, so it would be about you were a citizen and then you were taken by the Combine and you were going to be made into a combine because that's where they make the combine and some some like there's like some uh, smash how do you explain the character who like helps you um like he was like i don't i completely was he russian i think he was russian okay i remember it was a russian guy and i really want to say that he He, he, he was a lot smash designed him a lot to be like or thought of him a lot to be like uh the, the lab rat guy from Portal. Okay. Whatever yeah. that's his name. Doug, that's his name. Doug. I believe so, yeah. So, like, he'd be... But he, you'd actually, like, see him. Like, you'd kind of, like... He'd, he'd just... He'd be there, and you knew you were there. He was there. Unlike Doug, where, like, you never actually see him. So, like, you never really know if he's there or not. Okay. Uh, and he kind of messed with... Because he... I, I don't really know, like, what his purpose there was. <laughs> But he kind of like, while they're turning, brainwashing you into a combine, he like somehow stops the machines or stops whatever they're doing, and then like your brain is kind of like, like a a bit combine brainwashed. Okay. And like it's kind of like taking over your mind, so like you're turning kind of more into a combine as the story progresses. And I wanted the. Have you ever played Bioshock before? Oh yeah, for sure. The originals. Yeah, like I've played Bioshock One, Two, and Infinite. And I played the Minerva's uh, Den. Yeah, I'm a bit of a like like, like uh, I said, I like narrative driven FPS games and Bioshock is one of them. Not, like one of the not, best up there. Yeah, for sure. Not much like Infinite. Infinite Infinite was pretty Infinite's weird. game gameplay was a little was a lot Okay. Different. Fantastic environment. Fa- uh, story was pretty uh, Gameplay was yeah, not good, but you gotta admit it was just 
like a gorgeous game. Like I spent. Oh, I, I, I really liked Bioshock. That was an awesome experience. Yeah. Uh, so back to what you were saying about Nova Prospect. Um, I wanted the the environment and levels to work a lot like the original Bioshocks, where it was kind of like, you're, it's kind of like a little tiny open world. In like a like a little maze like environment. Like you can really explore it. But yeah. like it's a it's linear, but you can like really explore everything about it. Yeah, so basically the so sort I of wanted, non-linear maze like environments of Bioshock. Yeah, I really wanted it to be like that. Okay. Um That's actually pretty cool. I have yet to see a mod that like And Yeah, I wanted it just to, to look a lot different than Half Life Two, also. Like really like retexture things and just put a lot in there. And I wanted like yeah, like ambitious things like new NPCs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I had like a lot of the levels planned out and like what they would be. I don't know. And then eventually the idea fell through, and that's when we started on Rapture Inc. All right. So I guess Nova Prospect was like a predecessor of. Well, it's really what maybe want to get into it's what it's like you wanted to make you wanted to make a mod and then it eventually grew into you wanted to make games for a living and then became toilet head studios right like 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 like, to be honest zane like to be like 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 zane like what exactly do you want to do as a career like well i want to be a filmmaker okay you want to be a filmmaker yeah i can see that you make films and i know smash wants to be an artist for me personally like the actual thing that i want to do is i want to make games and that's kind of like the reason why i found you guys it was like you know, I wanted to do something, and you guys had something pretty neat, and it was easy to kind of get in. Like, based on the screenshots, it didn't look super, like, professional. It looked fairly amateur, but I'm not saying it was bad. I mean, whatever. But it was, like... Bad. <laughs> it was bad. Okay. Don't lie to me. Like, I don't like liars. Okay. He was trying to, like, say that it didn't look that hard to get in without hurting your feelings. Oh, I thought you were about to make that... I, was, I thought you were about hey. to take that joke very somewhere else. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. So, yeah, I, jo- I joined you. Okay, S- Smash. <laughs> or Moose, stop. Well, you gotta have some randomness in the in the uh, podcast, or else it just sounds so scripted, man. Yeah, if it, it's sexual, then there's nothing fun about it, you know? I don't like the fact that in the script mm-hmm. you wrote that I start crying, like, halfway through. I don't know why you wrote that in there. You're right, but... that's scripted. What? Here, here in my script, it says, um... Stop. It says... Did Smash takes a sword? <coughs> it's like you know the the curved swords that the uh-huh. Persians used. Uh-huh. And he screams, "Death to the infidels!" <laughs> and then he like stabs me in the chest. Oh my God! This script gets. Who wrote this? <laughs> Why did you write this? <laughs> You're one weird kid. <laughs> There's a fly in my room. I'm about to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Sepaku, <laughs> you just sepaku the fly, damn it. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Moose, stop. <laughs> Wait, is that? I can't. <laughs> oh, it's Zane. Sorry, I have like the thing in front of the Skype call, so I can't tell who's talking. <laughs> stop. Before you go, stop. Zane, a band, dude. Can you can you clap for me? Yeah, that is not clapping. Okay. Zane, do you start a band? Back to Toilet Head Studios. <laughs> I guess not. Fine. <laughs> that was true. Ah. Uh, okay. So. So yeah, the first. So the. So then, you and um, Smash actually went together and started a game where you shoot stuff as cats. We kind of went through a big sort of hiatus process. Went from Source Engine to Unreal, and then now it's in Construct Two. And Smash is working on uh, Flickr, which is probably the only game game we have at the moment. <laughs> Game, game. Are you are you rushing so, through right now, man? <laughs> I was gonna give you the entire history. Yeah, you're just, you're just you're rushing just, through. Yeah, I don't, so I don't like the I don't like the build up here. Okay, just, well I'm sorry. It's just we're already reaching the 25 minute mark. 
The 25 oh, minute mark. No. Oh no. I'm gonna start okay, crying. how's about okay, so Zane, why don't you explain your perspective? Why does Zane get to Zane right after Rapture Inc. What if I want to explain my perspective? Where you shoot, Script. You shoot <laughs> you shoot um you shoot Nutritious stuff as cats. Uh then in 2014, we started a MongoDB page for it, and we started like actually like working on it because the original idea for the game, I don't know, we must have it in a Skype chat, Smash. Um, I well, maybe it was in a call. I really forgot what the what was the first conversation we had about it. About Rapture Inc. I just sort of lost. No, 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 about the game we should see this guy. Oh, okay, the first it was text messages for our phones. Really? Oh yeah. Because I, I specifically remember being really yeah, totally tired, tired and at the gym. So pretty much, you were just like, Smash, we're going to make a new video game, and it has to be shuffled good. And then I was just like, you know, I have a great idea. What if we made this one game that I really still want to make? But then you were just like, Smash, that's a really dumb idea. I hope you stop texting. <laughs> <laughs> but then I was just like, no, 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 no. Listen, here's a better idea. And then I suggested a game where you shoot stuff as cats. And then it was heavily inspired by our, our like, uh, at the time we were playing Half-Life Deathmatch just a little too yeah. much. Yeah. And we wanted something that could, like, encapsulate the fun we had on that. The sort of goofy, chaotic Deathmatch experience. Exactly. Little did people know, Toilet Head Studios actually created Flappy Bird. Yeah, a little, a little fun fact, but then it was stolen uh, by uh, Hitler. Yeah. It, it was real wacky from then on. Um, so, yeah. All right. Then, after that... Hold on a second. Here, this is the picture um, that Smash drew originally. So that's, like, what started it all. Oh my god, this better be safe for work. I don't want this uh, podcast to, to be taken down. Yeah, one, one of the things that really attracted me about Toilethead Studios was the uh, the art. Smash's unique artistry. Now, this was drawn, obviously, by yours truly, right, Smash? This was drawn by you? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the art was kind of what inspired me to even join the group because it was very appealing. One of the themes about Toilethead Studios that I think um, that we like is... Uh, that that sort of stylized cartoony um, like style. I, yeah. I mean, we're we're big fans of. I mean, we we grew up a, watching a lot of cartoons. Like I grew up, like my entire life as a child was literally just Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network and Boomerang. I mean, Zane li likes a lot good. of the same stuff that I like and but Smash. You didn't watch Disney, that's good. What? <laughs> I'm really glad you didn't watch Disney. Disney w was scary. Okay, I like Drake and Josh. Everybody here like Drake and Josh, right? What? Drake and Josh isn't Disney. Yeah, Drake and Josh is Nickelodeon. Oh Damn it! Cut the cut it out. That was in the script. That that uh, I gotta go take a, take a shower. Uh, we ran over Oprah. <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> Okay, so. But yeah, that's just like the like the art was the art was kind of what it really inspired me to join this group. So yeah, and so now, say, uh, who, who? Okay, how are we gonna explain the history of a game where you shoot the best cats up until now? Say, do you wanna do you wanna elaborate that or? Why I? do you always say Zane? You never really say Hey Cooper. Anyway, oh my God, who's this? Get out of this! Get out of this call, Smash! Oh my God, God this is my last straw with you. I'm no, sick of it. I'm putting my foot down now. I'm sick of it. Yeah, I've been playing the flu for like six years. Really? That sounds sick. Thanks. I'd, I'd finish it, but you would be like, We're already 40 minutes in the podcast! <laughs> so, what are some good songs with flutes? Can you the 60s, play? The 60s had awesome flute playing. Wait, though. Can, can play a lot of jazz, play, like Frank Sinatra and stuff. Wake me yeah, up. Yeah, that too. Can you go? Oh. 
Oh, I love the flu. Oh, no, he's, he's hitting me! He's hit No! No! Dang, dang. Oh, he's got... So, a game where he shoots up his cats. Started just me and Smash, Smash and I. And then, um... See, you don't even remember anything. We, we, we got Ma Dorky on board. Ooh, she okay. If I ever saw Dorky in a Victorian dress... Oh my god. What, wait, what, what, is it, what is it about her in that? Is she hot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what Dorky looks like, to be honest. Well, she, she obviously ain't looking dorky. That's this is this is one of her... I'm pretty sure this is the first drawing she did of the announcer character. Yeah, she drew... Uh, I, mean, I have some early sketches of the uh, um, assistant. This is this is funny. This one. Yeah. Okay. You're like Caddy. That's her, no wait. The the announcer was what I called her Beatrice, and everybody was like, "Who the heck kind of name is Beatrice?" And then we have Caddy, which is like a pun. There's lots of cat puns. Like this is like the original. Uh, actually, her name is pronounced. You can see how you can see how different she looks now. Yeah, like the arts, like the old Katie versus the new Katie. That's really just like a good example of a character changing over time. So I have a picture of Dorky here. I'm gonna send it to you. So can you can you send like the new picture of a uh, of um the assistant? Yeah, of Caddy, Katie. <laughs> the new one. Yeah, the new one. Smash, you ready for this? Yeah. Wait, what did you put? did you just draw that? <laughs> no, I have it on hand. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so this is the uh, original. I mean, the new one. The new assistant. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pixelated one. No, what happened to the ModDB page? Or the one that... To, this has no cat ears. They, they just draw cat ears on this. I just realized that. Shit, how have we never realized that? It's Are been we on our website. I'm going to start crying. Okay, I'll get the uh, the new one. Well, I mean... Well, you know what? There is no new one because the art style has changed. What? What? Wait. Isn't there the one where it's just like, uh, I'm announcing here, guys? And it was like a fake screenshot one. Oh, Rush that? Here, you can suck my yeah. cock. Hold on. <laughs> That's relatable. Um. I'm getting a call from my dad. I'll be mad. Wait, you have a dad? Huh. Huh. Yes. <laughs> it's Zane. Sounds interesting. Daddy. Catch up with me more deets later. It's been ah, a ah, when are you gonna test out the map maker? The tutorial? Yeah, you still haven't given me feedback. I'm still waiting. Here. I said the tutorial was good. It was fine. It was basically everything that you explained me how to oh. do it just on paper. I just oh. have yet to actually. I mean, I haven't really bothered yeah, you, to do you, it. You have to do a thing so I can. Right. Okay, this is, first this of all. Okay, all right. Zane, you show your thing and then I'll talk. But this is important though. <laughs> this is a, a sneak preview of a never before seen screenshot, but this is a little tiny piece of it because we didn't release anything publicly yet about this. So, this is what she currently looks like. Oh, I've seen this, yeah. Well, I mean, the world has. Nutritious. Yeah. Nutritious. Bag circles, Telvi. But. But anyways, Lance, you should make like Stop. you should make like a small room so I can see if you're used to it. Okay. All right. Wait, uh, okay, I'll go faster now. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> so then, at the so in 2014, we created the ModDB and then uh, had a website makeover, and then Cult Quest also began development. Um, do you want to talk about Cult Quest real quick, Smash? That's like a little I want to. I want to keep. I want to keep that private. It's a. It's a private. Oh my god, private it's, video. It's, 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 a little, it's, it's a little sneak. A little sneaky thing. Okay, guys, we can't. So then, we can't and then last year we officially switched uh, a game which stuff as cats to Unreal Four. We made an IndieDB page for that. Yeah. And then Flickr also began development around October. And, and I would like to say a thing about Flickr. Flickr is probably the only, like, actual physical game something. I mean, let's be honest. 
like actual game something that we have at the moment. Yeah, Sorry, don't, don't, don't agree with him, Smash. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a direct order. Okay, Dad. Dad. Say say. I want you to say. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna write it to you. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Major Zane. Shame on you, Louis Vuitton. Who the fuck is Louis Vuitton? That sounds really gay. That's all I needed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what have we done with this podcast? Oh, uh, but anyways. And then, at the end of 2015, we made a pitch to change a game where you shoot stuff as cats once more. And then in 2016... We made a big change, and we don't have a lot to say about it yet, but we did switch engines, and we switched design and everything. Yeah, basically the game is completely different. It went from like a 3D computer... Oh, oh my god, oh, it's oh, secret! Secret, secret! Oh secret! Oh my god. pimps and players, I am back. Player to say play. something offensive. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Moose, you can't say that on the podcast! We're gonna have to edit that one out, Major Zane. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, Major Zane? Please refer to me as Major Zane, for fuck's sake. Ground control to Major fuck. Zane. Jesus Christ. You're a David Bowie fan, Zane. You should know, you should respond. Ground mm-hmm. control to Major Ma- Tell me you're nutritious. Stop. Oh. Take your protein pills and touch your, your helmet on. This is ground control. I'm to ground control. Ground control. You really it? made the gray. And I'm floating uh, in a most peculiar place. I. <laughs> Hey, I'm in, and I'm floating in a tin can. Can you, play me like, can you play me like a tune on that where it's like, like it's like blowing in a lot, like it's like a beat, but it's like you're just like blowing into it, like, like you know that, like it's very sixties. No, I have no idea. No, no, you're you're kind of doing it though. Like a, a like beat is flute. A flute. Is that a wood flute? No, it's not. It's a metal okay. flute. Yeah, hey, that's different. Then. You can get <laughs> Do you know Chicago? Not I'm not fan. The the band Chicago. We well, get a fan, but you play the flute. What well, would like Chicago like as in like the band Chicago? Yeah, the band Chicago. I've already talked you're about the this reason day. you're my love. You're the inspiration. Wait, you're not you're not a fan of Chicago. No, I like Chicago. Too. I just, I don't, I don't go wrong. They have, a, they have a lot of good flute solos in their music, man. I play, um, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna send you one, but we'll keep talking. I'll look for it. Okay, so, so Smash, would you like to say some things for once? I'm sorry. Uh, for once? Oh wow! I don't just... let him talk. Not for okay. That would come out wrong. Um. I'm... Out, up for once about toilet head because Zane has been doing all the talking. Well, essential. Well, you know, I think that Flicker is gonna be the toilet head's only good game, right, Zane? Zane, why, why, why don't I hear a Steam message as you said that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping that Flicker is the first single release. So get hyped for that, everyone. You don't know much about it. Mm. Smash, would you like to explain more about what Flickr is? And oh, how Flickr, it Flickr is a it's a pretty radical multiplayer game. It's a y- 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 uh, pretty much point-and-click multiplayer game, murder mystery sort of deal. One player is just, you know, fucking butchering NPCs, and the other one is trying to find the, uh, the person that's butchering everyone. So it's asymmetrical gameplay. Uh, it's not asymmetrical. It's not asymmetrical. It's kind of asymmetrical. Okay, like, I guess. I don't. I, don't I, I. I have. Re- you have really loose terms for asymmetrical. Okay, sure. Like. But, uh, like, what is your definition of asymmetrical gameplay? You, you know Project Zomboid. 
I've never played Project Zomboid. I'm th when I think of asymmetrical, I think of like either like Dead by Daylight that I've been playing recently, the beta, or Left 4 Dead, like Infected Mode, or Evolve, at that matter. What? Actually, no, that's a more, like... I mean, asymmetrical in the sense, like, one person over here is completely different than the enemy over here, over there. What? what? Wh whatever. Okay, it's... It's it's a, it's a cool, neato game, and would you like to explain more of the story behind how you guys obtain the... Should I say that? Should I say obtain the, the rights project thing? Ability to make Flickr? Because initially, uh, like, initially, the ability like... Ability to make Flickr. Well, can I explain, like, what Flickr was before we had it? Do you want Smash to explain that, or...? I mean, can, uh, I, can, uh, I, can I, I say something about it? I, I guess. I mean, like, I know better, but... Well, uh, Smash was the one who, you know, he's, he found it. Okay, I'll say it in layman's terms, and then you can elaborate. Basically, <laughs> Flickr uh, was not our game. It was somebody else's, and then they gave it to us. All right, Smash, you explain now? Um, essentially... Well, I mean, Ka Kazrat didn't, like, really give it to us. He kind of put it out there for free. Okay, well, yeah. Like I said, layman's terms. But anyways... So pretty much Flickr was a game being developed by a good old Kazderat. He's a really cool game designer. But essentially he dropped the game because he was just like, Oh boy, I really don't know how to write these characters. So I've written myself into a corner where I can't make an enjoyable story-driven game. And uh, I guess like I wanted to, to pretty much fix everything that he couldn't uh, finish up. So... I built everything from the ground up using some of his sprite, and with the help of Zodi 500, a uh, really nice artist who can uh, imitate a lot of people's styles, uh, where we're slowly making our way towards uh, adding a lot to this game in terms of story and in terms of graphics and in terms of, uh, I guess, features. Kazrad didn't have much planned for it. It was supposed to be a really tiny game, something that you could probably play in five minutes, but me and Zodi wanted to add like a lot more to it to make it something that's like, worth uh yeah probably like you know purchasing purchasing or something and currently um like um flicker is currently the the game that you and zodi are really going ham at and i mean should we really discuss more in depth about the development of a game where we should have us cats or should we just kind of leave that we'll leave that in the in, in the fog in the fray yeah i need to, i need to talk in, with you about like you and zane about like that's when are you, when are you gonna test out the uh, map maker? It's been a month, perhaps maybe even two months. If you want, I can test it out tonight. You and Thanks. me, you and Thanks. me, you and me on a private Skype call. Oh, uh, you guys are gonna be on a date? It's not a date, Dad. It's just me hanging out with my friend. Son. Yeah. I don't want you going on a date with this boy. No, he. It's not a date. And second of all. He's a nice boy, and... Uh, <laughs> By the way, uh... uh oh, daddy dear, we're not the fortunate ones. But girls just want to have fun. Uh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, uh, Zane is actually Smash's dad, and Smash is actually Zane's daughter. You're just a wanna, just a wanna. <laughs> just a wanna. So yes, if you if you if you want Smash, we can go on a private Skype call and we can work on the 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 map maker, okay? If that makes you feel happy. Yeah, right. it's just Remember, like those one eight hundred numbers I see no, on the internet. Hey, hey, no holding hands on the first date. Okay. Oh golly. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Moose, you got anything to say? Have any recommendations about this? Is is Moose even here? He, he Moose, was... Moose Moose sent me a private message saying that uh, he had to go masturbate, so he won't be in call. That's a shame. Okay, yeah. because I, I I knew I I was thinking like like Moose would say something really witty like, "Don't forget to bring condoms" or something like something Moose would say. Oh, don't forget. To bring uh, also, also, he sent me a bunch <laughs> of images. He was just like, "This is what I'm uh, memesturbating to," and it's like. It's like a bunch of like really weird stuff. I don't think I can describe it in the podcast without it being taken down and like this whole podcast getting like detectivated. This is some weird shit if I've ever seen any. Well, I mean, I figured like Moose would say something really witty like like what I just said. All right, anywho. Um so yeah, Flickr is uh is doing pretty well. How's uh how's that with Sony right now? How have you been up to with that? Um, Zodi just got out of college for a bit, and, uh, 
So he, sh he said he should be able to draw a lot more Flickr stuff, and I'm hoping that he gets his fucking act together and uh, draws more be my, uh, and be my uh, drawing slave. All right. So I guess that kind of that's kind of like the end of the whole Toilhead thing. I mean, it kind of yeah, it's the end of Toilhead Studios. So yeah, Toilhead Studios. These guys that I found and I've been with them for two years, and Smash is a jolly old friend of mine, and so is Zane, and it's been rather interesting two years to say the least. I really hope we can actually like someday in the future actually like have a big studio and make our dream games like Smash. Like you and me are gonna make awesome games, all right, Smash. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so, uh, that was uh, that was Zane Burns and Smash Cooper. Um, I guess we've reached the part where we now discuss about um, about. I, I guess this is really unorganized right now. I guess my channel or or E3. I really want to talk about um, the channel when Moose is around. I don't know when he's gonna come back. I guess we just sort of wait and leave it at the end. Well, I mean, honestly, I mean, it, it's a dream of mine to have a studio, but I don't know. It's like, it's kind of like, it's really ambitious, and I, like, know that, and, like, like I'm not trying to make it into the biggest thing ever, because I, I know better that that will not most likely happen, but I really, like, like have to have something that like is really cult following where like 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 fans rather than like making things that like just come out yeah like, like you know like a like a tight community yeah, i understand that like that's really like really important to me like rather than having anything else is just having like people that care about the company itself rather than like the things they throw out and yeah. like all the things they throw out are so like distinctive and stand out. One of the things that I've really wanted just to really do really relatable to the company itself. One of the things that I really wanted to do, like when I have like a game studio, is like, like for us to be like, like, like for me to have a personality around the air, around the studio. You know, it's like a close relationship with uh, the player base and the people making the game. And that's uh, and that's kind of the things that I kind of see this whole little nutritious bag circles character as sort of being a a central figure of this whole personality concept with the games. So, with games in mind, also is it Mooseback? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm back. awesome. So now we can talk about uh, the channel. So, um, so uh, Moose, we just finished talking about Toilet Head and other stuff. Good, so, because I would have interrupted, and it's good that I was gone. <laughs> I had to masturbate. I mean, I'm back. See, I wasn't lying. You guys probably didn't believe me. Okay, then. No, my friend wanted to talk to me about the Warriors and Thunder game, and he wanted to rub in my face how like good the Warriors are. And he also wanted to talk gospel with me, so... Wait, and Warrior, and warrior Cats? Are you talking about Warrior Cats? No, we're... we're <laughs> fuck you. We're talking about <laughs> the, the NBA, dude. What the Sports. fuck? Basketball, Sports. smash! It's a sport. Basketball, it's a sport. You know what? You know what a sport is, smash. You know what a sport yeah, is. Yeah, isn't that like where people like start touching each other inappropriately? That's wrestling. That's not a sport. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, you, you went there, Moose. <laughs> I just went there. Some kid. There's gonna be like that one viewer who's gonna dislike your video because of me saying that. Oh, thanks. I, I appreciate that. Not all, not all the other things you said, just that part. So, anyways, the channel, I recently uploaded the 100 subscribers special, and Moose loved it to death. <laughs> Is it true what you told me earlier, that you were going to cancel the channel? No. Really? <laughs> he told me that, too. Hey, are you lying to us? Wait, what? I got you said you were going to cancel the channel and you're going to start a new channel called Grumpy Cat Gaming. Yeah. No. And you said you wanted to make a lot more memes because memes make easy money? Is that... Okay, I wanted to make a second channel with Moose. 
a, a meme channel, just like where both me and him like actually contribute instead of just me and so Moose helps. The community and the fans are a bunch of load of garbage and you don't care about it whatsoever and all you want is money? Is that what you said too? I think that's what you said. No. I, th I think you PM'd me that like a couple of days ago. Like it was like 5 a.m. and I just woke up and you said, I I'm going to read it back actually. And I quote, smash you useless piece of shit. Wake up. <laughs> I don't, I don't even, <laughs> Smash, um, I think I need to debunk that because I don't cuss, like, ever. No, you, you cut, like, behind the scenes, all the people watching this, and Trish is just like, All right, that is, come over here, let me give you a big smooch, you little fuckers. Like, it's, that's how he talks. Yeah, I remember when I first met <laughs> Luis, um, he actually punched me in the gut and then stole my wallet. And then, like, every time I refer to that... <laughs> keeps telling me that wasn't him and I was assaulted by some black man in an alleyway but <laughs> he at least my shoes smash that's, that's, can't that's hide racist it. <laughs> 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 least can't hide it any longer you can't hide it any longer the truth is out the gospel the truth man <laughs> Jesus saves now <laughs> anyways so Ignore, this like, this entire podcast is literally like okay I'm gonna be serious and actually be discussed and informative. The moose is like, hey guys, I'm gonna talk about and interrupt nutritious conversations, and I also have Smash here because we, we love each other and we're gonna yeah, make. Well, if if you just talked about like the in this like okay, so in the podcast you have to have some funny content, nutritious and some random stuff. Yeah, I understand that, but like here. But, but it's already, like, the 50-somewhat, like, 40-minute mark, and I actually, like, we have to stop soon, and I, and I want to, like... Are we really talking about this now? Okay. <laughs> Subscribe! And see you next time! Okay, so, okay, let's stop. Stop! <laughs> Please. Okay, so. Okay, so. See, now the they type really loudly. The how channel. Can oh my how God. can you not yell at Zane, but you'll yell at us? What the heck, dude? Zane's been, Zane literally just like told me. He messaged me. He's like, I hate New Church just so much. Isn't that right, Zane? Yo, do an impression of Zane real quick. Me? No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking to. No, 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 no. Never mind. Okay. Do, I, do, I, do you want what? me to? I can do an impression yeah, of him. Do an impression of Zane. Say how much. Say, say yes. That's correct. Say what? Tell me how right I am. Oh, I'm not sure. All right, well, okay, nutritious, go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I wanted, to I wanted to talk about uh, some of the projects that I'm planning on doing for the channel, and just uh, you know, one of the things <laughs> that I keep saying is like I constantly want feedback from you guys because, you know, oh, how do I explain this? <sighs> really mm, mm, okay okay let's talk about this so i have a couple uh planned projects that i'm wanting to be doing i'm i was recording some uh dead by daylight beta gameplay before uh before this uh this video and uh, i want to do a beta impression video talking about the beta talking about you know my opinions about it what i think of it what needs to be fixed what needs to be done that sort of deal and uh other plans one of the things that with this channel that I'm doing right now is the whole sort of nutritious source reviews. And that's kind of the central focus that I'm really wanting to do is sort of do all this Half-Life and other game related content. But the thing is, I'm really curious as to exactly why like people look at my videos in the first place, you know, because, you know, for some reason, in a lot of my recent nutritious source reviews, I have a large disproportionate like to dislike ratio, and I and I'm either confused if that's either Reddit, or that's a small number of my subscriber base, and I'm really concerned about that because I want to be making content that I like, but at the same time, content that you guys subscribed and are watching. And I always I also have like the whole straw poll thing, but I don't know if much of you guys are ever gonna make it up to here and like actually do it except maybe like a small minority who are like really dedicated to the videos. So I'm just going to say this right now. So I'm going to be making, I'm going to keep making the nutritious source reviews, but I'm probably going to stop uploading them on Reddit. And I really want to make more of the under a minute tutorials. The under a minute tutorials are really easy and I find them very entertaining and fun to make. And, you know, I've always wanted to make informative sort of help stuff. 
I mean, you guys have probably already seen, like, you know, you guys go on YouTube and you look up a tutorial and it's like 10 minutes to explain yeah. something that can be explained in like a minute, you know? So, like, basically, it want to be how to basic. Um, no, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, 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 Smash, Zane, like, you know what I'm talking about? How you look up a tutorial and it's like, hey guys, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, they take like 10 minutes or a lot to explain like one simple thing and they don't get to the point. Kind of like us. How? <laughs> uh. So. I'm sure we are. Okay. So the first under a minute tutorial video that I ever made was the how to install Half-Life 2 mods in under a minute. And right now that video is like around 900 views, almost a thousand, about to be hitting the, the 1000 mark. And um, I want to do more of those kinds of videos because, you know, it's good traffic and they're easy to make and they're fast. And like I said, it's under a minute. So I want to make more under a minute tutorials and I really hope you guys would like those kinds of videos. And... Other and you know I'm gonna keep doing the nutritious source reviews and I also want to do something called nutritious talks, which is a more sort of discussy sort of talky talky thing. And I and I think I mentioned this to Smash. Smash, remember how I told you to uh, like stop making those six drawings for uh, the, the the what used to be 100 subscriber special before the one that I have now. Yeah. Well, actually, I kind of wanted you to draw a new character for this series, a series that I'm actually wanting to do a lot more because it's a very broad series it's not just one specific thing so i mentioned in a lot of the um in the straw polls and all these other things about the, these projects um i need to pull up that straw poll um i mean I, let me just i said my microphone is all the way over here i don't want the fan to make noise so one of the things one of the one of the what this nutritious uh talks is basically the smarty smarty thing where i talk about things like um game design or uh reviews of some things like for example i want to work on a review of doom snap map and doom snap map has been this thing that uh i've been playing around a lot zane have you been playing have you playing uh doom you have doom right doom 2016 yeah you liking it um yeah i I really like it. I really like the campaign. Um, I mean, the multiplayer didn't blow me away at all. I mean, the multiplayer was... I mean, Doom was never a multiplayer-focused game. It was just kind of there because yeah. it panned but I mean, But, I mean, they they have it, so... They have it, and, it's, and at least it I, works. I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't rate the game poorly because of that. Unlike but, a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot, unlike a lot of people thing, are doing. But the thing is, before Doom, they made the new Wolfenstein, and a thing that people... I don't know if they really I don't think people cared about this but it, like they thought about it and they brought it up and mentioned it is the fact that it didn't have any multiplayer component which is like kind of weird because like so many first person shooters need to have a multiplayer component they feel now every single like even if it's like like a game like where it's just they focus on the campaign but they just feel they need yeah. to add some really boring multiplayer that Yeah, has, it's tacked on like it just it's not good and I don't like it and I don't think that the development of well you know I don't, I think they're they're smart and the reason why they didn't do it with Wolfenstein well I, I guess I wouldn't know the reason ever I mean there was never any multiplayer for Wolfenstein like there was never that's, yeah know. but that's that's true but I mean like and plus like the guys who made it machine games which are fantastic people by the way are very into narrative driven first person shooters and that's kind of one of the things that i also want to talk about with the nutritious talks series is things that i like to talk about like narrative driven fps games and i also <coughs> like those kinds of games as well so back to doom have you ever tried the snap map feature by any chance i haven't tried it but i i know about it okay so i've been playing around in snap map and it's kind of like Snap Map is uh, it's kind of its attempt at making this sort of tool that everyone could use and make maps, and it has a lot of potential, but it's very limited. And you know, this is the Doom community we're talking about. Like these guys are purists and are like long live Doom wads and stuff like that. So Snap Map, I've been playing around with that, and I really wanted to make a good review explaining things like it's a it has great potential. The logic system is fantastic. It's you know this this and that. I think the snap map system, like the snap map point system is a little, eh. The game has a, the, the feature has a mode, or the feature has a thing where you get snap points for, um, for a just, um, 
you know, playing maps, and it doesn't really reward you much except for unlocking tiles and things for um, for the maps you make. I don't know if you can actually spend snap points on armor PCs. I don't know how do you up, I don't know how you customize your character in snap map because I know the armor character that you do in multiplayer is not the same character that you do in snap map. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. So nutritious uh, talks is a series that I want to do, and what are the series that I want to do that actually like? And obviously, I'm going to keep doing these podcasts because apparently a lot of people like these podcasts and you get to learn more about me. So, we have reached the one hour mark. Um, there's, many other, there's many other little pro- uh, pet projects, but that's kind of the ones that I want to mention right now. So, let us talk about E3. So, Zane, but smash. I gotta go for a bit, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, you gotta go, Moose. I gotta head out. I might come back in time to finish up the podcast, but wait, like how long do you have to go? Because we're about gonna, to. It's gonna be a long time, guys. I'm sorry. I think we have to end the podcast by the time you you're gone, Moose. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, that's fine. You can. That's, okay, that's okay, but, but we're gonna talk about E3 for a little bit, and then we're gonna stop. So, uh, do you have any uh, things looking forward to for E3? You're looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, if that's spe- if that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You're that- looking- that would be amazing. Yeah, Moose is a it huge Red Dead would, fan. It wouldn't be called Red Dead Redemption 2. Or it would be called Red Dead Revolution or whatever. Something with the last R it would be R something. Yeah, Moose is a big fan of Red Dead. He That's one of his favorite games. I'm a humongous fan of it. Yeah. I yeah. never... Yeah, I actually want to talk about Red Dead the for a little ending, bit. The ending made me cry. I don't know a lot of people who actually beat that game. I beat I, it. I, I beat it, but I mean... A lot of people who have played it like haven't beat it. It's a very long game. Yeah, but the ending is great when he gets like, okay, well, the ending is when it's done. Wait, 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 wait. don't spoil anything on the podcast. I gotta, I gotta head out later. He, he would be the kind of person to spoil something on a podcast. Whatever. Okay. So, I want to talk about Red Dead for a little bit. Um, now, I actually have Red Dead with me. I've never really finished it, though, and I actually should finish it because if all this talk with Red Dead Redemption 2 or whatever it's going to be called is true, then I might as well actually finish the game for once because... You know, it's a. As I hear, it's a good game, and it's pretty good. Yeah. You know, it's a. It's arguably the best cowboy game, out yeah. there on the market. Like the best AAA cowboy game. That game came out in two thousand ten, right? I'd still play that over again. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, like the best Western game. So, I actually like. I remember. I, I remember. I was going to get Red Dead Redemption, uh, back in the day, but at the time, it costed like, sixty dollars. Like it was full price. Like. I remember it was 2009, I believe, when it came out, and I wanted to get Red Dead Redemption because it looks cool. And I was it, I was going to get Red Dead Redemption, you know, but you know, it was over it was expensive at the time, so I was like, well, might as well get a different game. And so I heard about this little game from school called Fallout 3, and that's where I got Fallout 3. It was uh, I was at Best Buy with my dad, and I had to go with my dad because if I went with my mom, she wouldn't let me get any. M-rated game. My dad is a little is more cool about that. So I was gonna get Red Dead. Red Dead was too expensive. Then I was gonna get Fallout Three because it was like twenty dollars, and that's kind of how I loved Fallout Three so much and how I became a Fallout fan since then. So, anyways, uh, with E3 Red Dead, what do you think is gonna happen with Red Dead? There's all this speculation that it's gonna be like a prequel or whatnot. Oh, um, uh, I really wouldn't be able to tell you. I guess. So, other things, E3, Battlefield 1 and Watch Dogs 2. Are you excited about any, uh, one of one of one or two of those games, Zane? Well, Watch Dogs 1 was really trash. Um, I feel like <laughs> Watch Dogs 2 is going to be really trash. Um, we've never seen San Francisco in an open world game before, and I kind of wish someone would have done that later on and not have made it a Watch Dogs game. Because I don't know why they made another one. The first one wasn't good. And it's probably good that Dead Island 2 isn't in development anymore, I don't think. Because yeah, what, what happened with that? I Apparently it's just, it's done. <laughs> no word about it. It's just over, I guess. Strange. I mean, it's just like, they try to make this comeback and... It usually fails, but it will get people to buy it. All right. Um, Battlefield One, I'm really excited to see it. 
Um, yeah, I mean, if they if they announced another battlefield and it was just like a little bit more in the future, like every battlefield tends to do, for now on, you're then fine. I wouldn't you're I wouldn't be that? I wouldn't be interested at all in that. Um, but since it's World War One, it's but since it's World War One, that made it really interesting to like hear about that. Like because there's never been a AAA game that has made a World War One game, right? I mean, there have uh, been little game studios here and there that have made games like yeah. like, like Verdun, for example. You're probably right. No, I, mean, I I wish they made it. I wish they made it like a full on another Vietnam one, but it's good that they're trying something completely new. Uh, Tripwire, the developers of Killing Floor, actually working on a Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, Red, uh, Rising Storm Red Orchestra two. Or, uh, they're making a Rising Storm, Storm Rising Storm two is what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, they're making a Vietnam Rising Storm. I know. I think that's uh, I think that's I think it has potential, like a pretty good uh, fix it, for people it's who want Vietnam. It's definitely going to be good, and they spend a lot of time on their games. Tripwire is probably one of the the best uh, video game companies I've ever seen. Like the best, like indie studios who put a lot of like, like like even even though like I wouldn't say Killing Floor is my top favorite game. It's polish. Like, their studio is so good with their games, and they're an indie studio. Like they put a lot of polish in their games. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like, I haven't played Killing Floor 2. I have a friend who plays Killing Floor 2 a lot. Um, I really liked... I played a lot of Killing Floor 1. I haven't really played a lot of it now. A lot of people still play Killing Floor 1, right? Probably. Yeah, probably. (laughs) But I haven't played Killing Floor 2. So, Battlefield 1, if you guys... By the way, if you guys guys made it all the way here to the podcast, I just want to congratulate you. And if you guys didn't know on... Clap, clap, clap. Yeah. So... So on the twelfth of June, which we're on uh, really close, which is like I think like two days from now, since I'm recording this, probably a day if I manage to upload this by tomorrow or today. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So if you guys by any chance watch Neebs Gaming on YouTube, those guys. Uh, by the way, if you don't know who Neebs Gaming, they're the guys who made the uh, the Battlefield Friends uh, animated shorts. Zane, do you know what that is? Battlefield Friends? Zane doesn't watch entertainment. He, uh, he yeah, I don't think it's very funny. You don't like Battlefield? Well, I mean, you have to be like a Battlefield person to kind of get the jokes. I mean, like, I, I know the jokes they're making, but like the way they like do the joke itself isn't very entertaining or funny. All right. Well, to you at least, but to a lot of people, it's popular. So the Battlefield Friend guys... I, I think Machinima kind of like stays to a certain demographic in their humor like their their produced humor mm. but uh anywho the the neves gaming guys are going to be streaming battlefield one on twitch on the 12th of june um alongside level cap gaming and jack frags and metimio and i think doom got or doom 49 all these Battlefield uh, YouTubers. I don't know if you guys are big Battlefield fans. I mean, I like Battlefield, but I'm not like a hardcore fan. I'm just really <coughs> excited for Battlefield 1. Like, I've never been hyped for a Battlefield game, like, ever. And I think this game is going to be interesting because, you know, it's bolt action, rifle, palooza, trench warfare. It's like, you know, it's kind of... I mean, Zane, you've been kind of asking for, like, a old-styled game, like World War something, right? Well, I mean, it would have been awesome if they made a new world war Two battlefield but i like world war one too i mean yeah so i i feel like with, with battlefield one they're gonna make sure that it it works still appeals to an audience from the older battlefields or any battlefield um i mean like if you were to tell someone to play battlefield 1942 the first battlefield it might not appeal to them because of how different first-person shooters were, like, back in the day. Yeah. So I think that it'd be cool if it was like that, but it's going to be very similar to... Well, I, I'm, I don't know this, but it's probably going to be similar to, like, Battlefield 4, the most recent one. Well, yeah, that's understandable. Like, it's a Frostbite 3 But I mean, like, World War One kind of doesn't really work so well like that but i think that they're just kind of like like they're gonna have different stuff but i feel like it's very themed based like even 
even the new Star Wars game was very centered around the same mechanics that DICE puts in their Battlefield series. All right. And I think that's just kind of like, I mean, like the style of DICE. Like, it'll feel like a DICE. Like, it's it's good to have a studio where you, where you where feel you, like... Where you play a game and you kind of know, yeah, this is, some, I, this is a DICE game that I'm playing. I think that's cool to have that. Yeah. I mean, I'm just curious how the game was going to play out to begin with, with Battlefield 1. But yeah, if you guys are interested, June 12th, Neebs Gaming. I, knew, I, I think I'll put a link in the description. I don't know the exact time. Um, they're going to be streaming it. So if you guys are big Battlefield fans and you want to check it out with the game, the fir- it's going to be the first time they're going to be showing Battlefield 1 ever on the internet, according to Neebs or something like that. So yeah, Battlefield 1... Uh, Smash, you haven't talked in a bit. Do you have anything exciting? I mean, I don't know if you you said you don't play video games, but... Um... Anything, like, at least not not exactly in E3, but, like, anything in that time period, like June, July? Um, I... Uh, n- no. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. All right. That's understandable. Well, guys, I think we have, uh, I think we've reached a good sort of portion ending of time point. a good uh, yeah a good ending point so any last remarks what do you guys think of uh of the overall talk um i think there was a lot of things discussed here that were very interesting and <coughs> i think major zade can <laughs> describe it bless, bless you bless you bless your soul <coughs> thanks god Dad. bless your soul <laughs> all right guys well guys you have any last remarks until we we actually end this um, Nidorina is a really good Pokemon, and I think that instead of Pikachu being the icon for the series, I really do think Nidorina should have been the, the whole Nido family should have been an icon, because they're really different compared to all the other Pokemon, since they're one of the few Pokemons that, like, really sold the whole gender difference in, in Pokemon. Like, initially, P- like, female Pikachus didn't have a heart in Generation 1, but... Uh, the Nido line still had like differences, major differences as well. So I think that like that big difference they had compared to all the other Pokemon really does give them a okay. reason to be recognized more than a, a right. lot of the other 150 first generation. All right, Pokemon. smash, smash, smash. What? We're about to end the podcast. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's not like I care anything, but you know. All right, Zane, any last remarks? <laughs> Zane's just dead silent. <laughs> he just he just sent me a message saying he's master memeing? I don't know what that means. Well, I guess Zane is, uh, is temporarily gone. I take a phone call. Uh, this is an excellent chat. Um, nutritious, nutritious Bags is an excellent man. Subscribe. Like, favorite, Remember send, the- send him an uh, email, fax him at 1-300-7489. Um, make sure you go to his house and visit him. He's a great guy. Uh, I'll give you his address. Um, I'll put it in the description or in the comment section. Um, if he privates it, just email me and I'll send it to you. I'll just give you all the information you need. And have a good night. Alrighty then, so my name is Nutritious Bag Circles. Thank you guys so much for uh, for joining the podcast. Smash Zane, thank you so much for joining. I love you. Sadly, Moose was unable to continue with the rest of the discussion, but uh, but he he, yes. he contributed quite a bit. So my name is Nutritious Bag Circles, and I will see all of you guys later. Hello, hello. My name is Nutritious Bag Circles, and welcome to Bag Circles Central. And I am here with President Moose. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let's start that again. Hold on. Hello, my name is PewDiePie. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing a podcast. All right. All right, everybody shush, everybody shush, all right.
my god, that's illegal. We're gonna go to jail. Zane. Wait, Zane, was that you? No. I have a, I have a vape, I don't use a bomb. It's unhealthy. Really? Yeah. Here we go. That was just a cup of water. Uh, <laughs> I'll be completely honest there, I didn't... I just wanted to make bubble noises. All right. All right. Yeah, I figured.